Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle and today I have for you another declutter video. So we'll be decluttering all my cream products. So I have cream blushes in here, cream highlights, cream bronzer. So um, it's a lot and I'm not going to get rid of everything just because I paid for um, all these things myself. So let me just go ahead and dump the blush <laughs> so we can get started hopefully you guys have a good view I'm not really sure if you guys can see everything in frame um but i think we're gonna start with blush since it's the most exciting so if you like declutters um makeup videos in general i do a lot of project panning um i do reviews um i am on a low buy right now and what else um just anything makeup related. If you love makeup um, and want to chit chat about it, then go ahead and like and subscribe. It helps my channel out a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and start separating these, I guess, by brand. Um, I'm going to start with my nude sticks ones, I guess, and then move on over to the rest of them. So I do have um, some more nude sticks ones, but they're in a... Anything you don't see here is in a project pan or in my shop, my sash. That goes for all categories and all brands. So the ones I have right here, this is in, um, what is it? In the nude. And that's what this one looks like. It's a nice color. And I got this um, with some Ulta points. So I didn't pay that much for it out of pocket. I mostly use my points for it. Same for bareback. I got that around the same time. This is more like a cooler nude color, super pretty. So I'm going to keep both of these. I do like the Nude Sticks formula, but I have found brands that I love more. Um, then we have Body Language, which is a favorite by Hilary Dove. Love it. And it gives me a nice fruit punch effect on the cheeks. Super pretty. And then these two minis I have are in the shade. Um, they don't have the name on it, but I know it's um, Sweet Peach Peony. And a sun kiss, so sweet peach peony and sun kissed. This is more like a bronzy color. I've used up both of these in the past and gotten other minis. I have this one the full size that I'm waiting to break in once I fully pan it. Once I fully pan it, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep both. Um, it doesn't take up too much space, so. And I do wanna try to pan my two older ones eventually. So yeah, I haven't had have a butter cream blush this year. I don't think I've bought in a whole cream blush for all of 2022, so that's great. I do want to, but um, I need to make room for more because all this stuff don't fit very nicely, <laughs> should I say. Okay, we're going to scoop this over. I have two of the glossy um, cloud paints. I have Puff, which is the more pink one, and then this one is in Dusk. This is my favorite. I have the least amount in this one. Hopefully I can pan it this year. I do have a backup of dust. So these are ones that I enjoy. Obviously I love dust more than puff, but I will try to reach for a puff a little bit more. And let's see. Then we have two MAC ones. These are the MAC Glow Play blushes. And I have them in So Natural and Blush Please. So, so natural is more like this orangey peachy tone. And then um, blush please is more of a mauve color. And it can be very intense because one time I went in with the brush and it was just way too much. But um, I do enjoy the formula of these two. This one's obviously my favorite, similar to the Dust by Glossier type shade. So I have a preference, but I have gotten more into like mauve rosy tones. So... I'm going to keep both since I like. If I don't reach for this in the next six months or so, then I'll consider decluttering it. But for now, I'm happy with these two. So those are definitely keeps. And then I guess M Cosmetics is the one that I have the most of. Besides new sticks. And then these are the serum blushes. So these are liquid blushes. And we have Venetian Rose, which is my favorite out of all of them. I need to reach for that one more, so I'm definitely keeping that one. Then we have Rose Milk, which is more of this. Um, it's like a milkier color than Venetian Rose. Venetian Rose has more rose. This one's just like a milky pink type shade. Then we have 
Sunset Sky, which is a very nice tone. And then Peachy Peach. I believe I like this darker one more than this one. I can't remember which one of the orange ones was the one that I used like all fall. But I'm pretty sure it was Sunset Sky. And they're both um, beautiful. This one's just a little orangey on me. And this one I love. It's more of a like, terracotta brick orange kind of color. I'm going to keep both of them. Um, I bought these on sale on the BoxyCharm website for $9 a piece a while back. But I definitely like more of a stick cream type of blush like these or the Westman Atelier ones. Um, I even enjoy this one which comes like in this little tubey thing. Things like in pots like these I really don't gra gravitate towards as much. And these liquid ones I would love if they were more pigmented but they are a little bit more sheer. But it's nice to throw a powder on top and um, have this like lock it in. But or if I just want to share a wash these are nice. So I'm keeping all my M Cosmetics ones. And then um, I guess we'll finish off with these stick ones and then move into the potted ones. So I have one by M Cosmetics, which um, they are very creamy. I don't know if it was the shade that I'm not crazy about or what. But this is Milk Tea. It's a nice shade. I just need to play around with that one more. So I want to give this one some more love and I did pay for it with my own money. So that's something that I need to do. Then we have Westman Atelier in the shade doo doo do do it's this purpley mauve shade love it it is something that i wore for months on in and i do have another shade of it that's in my bag that i really enjoy of a different M not m cosmetics a different westman atelier one so i definitely want to pick up more of the westman atelier formula but first i need to go through some of these before i can um let's see um, then I guess we'll go with this cream one. It's like a has an applicator on it. It's the NYX Sweet Cheeks and the packaging is broken on this. So <laughs> I kind of want to just use this up and get it out of my collection instead of decluttering because I did pay for this with my own money. Of course it's structure and doesn't cost a lot but this is what the applicator looks like and then here is the two. Um, did I say the shade name of this one? Um, it's in the shade Nude Tude. So yeah, I have used a considerable amount of this because I was kind of project planning it, but I snuck it back into my collection so I can give it a break and use some other ones. But it's something I will revisit and hopefully at the end of this year, I'm able to finish it, if not, maybe into 2023. And if I don't finish it within like the first six months of 2023, maybe I will declutter it. Um, but for now, I kind of just want to get my money's worth out of all my makeup and not just like throw things away in the trash um or give up on them so easily like i i hated this one at first but i ended up um learning to like the formula more so then we have these well i guess this one's still kind of a stick one this is the merit um cheeky this is the cheek color and the shade cheeky and it comes in this type of formula it's very hard so like if you accidentally like hit your cheekbone kind of hurts but um i really enjoy the formula of this one it just gives you the most glowy, dewy, refreshing look. And it's not like extremely pigmented where you can't blend it out. Um, but it's not as sheer as like say the M Cosmetics Serum Blushes. It's a happy medium and I love to just layer and layer and layer this on top. And I mix it in with a lot of different cream blushes and throw different types of powder blushes. And this one definitely lasts when I set it in with the powder. Like everything just looks... So beautiful and radiant. I love this on the apples of my cheeks because it makes me look alive. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I have been tempted to buy more of the Merit. Um, what are they called? The color cheek colors. But uh, all these don't fit in the little bucket. So yeah. And then we have these two that are in the compact. And then these two that are in the compact as well. So these are like the single ones. This is a duo and this is a quad. So I'll talk about that here in a second. So here's the Tarte one. Um, this is what it looks like. This formula reminds me of the Tower 28, which I have a Tower 28 one in my um, makeup bag. It's in a project pan. Um, this is in the shade Peach Sunset. Super beautiful. I love layering this with um, the Chanel blush that I just bought. So this one is a keeper. I can see myself um, using that a lot in the summertime. And then where did you go? Here is the Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral Blush. And this one I threw in a project pan. And I hit pan. So that's... 
Okay, sorry, my dog. Um, I thought my dog was barking, but apparently it was my brother moving some double doors that we have and um, the wood like creaked or whatever. So <sighs> I got scared there for a second, but here we are. So here is the newly neutral blush by um, Rare Beauty. And I did hit pan on this by having it in a project pan. So I'm very happy about that, that I was able to accomplish that. And then once I hit pan, maybe in a few more, just because I'm not very close to finishing any type of blushes, maybe the Dust one by Glossier and the next Sweet Cheeks. I'm very close to finishing. Um, this one, although this one has pan, is still a ways to go. I am probably gonna be able to finish off uh, maybe one of these new sticks ones. Um, but my plan is to hit pan on tons of blushes this year and then circle back and actually finish them. So hopefully in 2023, I can finish this one off just because cream blushes go bad quicker. And I've had that since, um, I believe these came out like last January, last February, something like that. So I've had that for about a year now. And anything past two years is probably too much. Um, so yeah, that is something that I want to pan. It's not my most favorite formula, but I found a way to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Then we're down to these last two, which the closest is the, the duo. The closest one looks like it's in the shade Velvet Melon. I don't know. This orange has just never worked for me. Let me smell it. Make sure it's good. Yeah, this one still smells good. It has a 18 month shelf life. And I think I've had this maybe for two years now. So it's just very neon. It doesn't look very good compared to like, let's compare it to this one, which is one of my favorites. This one has like more brownie peach to it. And this one's just like very fluorescent. So let's compare it to Dusk. Because dust is like a fave. This one's way more pigmented than both of those, I think. And has a lot more brown in it. So yeah, this one is just, I don't know. The formula is not too bad or anything like that. It's like a thin cream product. Um, more on the stiffer side, you have to really get it warmed up. But once you do, it does have like a slipperiness to it. And this is the highlight, which I enjoy the highlight a lot but i don't want to keep this duo around just for the highlight because i'm not in love with the peach um this more like apricot shade so i think i'm going to get rid of this i can clean it up see if one of my cousins want it they don't feel weird about using um like my cream makeup and stuff so like i'll pass it on to one of them so this one is going to go in our declutter pile finally right <laughs> And this is my Elf Active Workout Ready Lip and Cheek Palette. I bought this one because of Hanalee's posted. She was um, raving about this. So when I placed the order on the Elf website about, I want to say two years ago, <laughs> when I placed this order, when I placed a order, I went ahead and picked this up. Um, oh, no, no, no. I think this one, did I receive this one for free in that order? I can't remember because um, I think this one came for free. Yeah, I think I paid $6 for this one. And then the e.l.f. highlighting palette came for free. But yeah, these rusty tones are just so beautiful. I just never reach for them because I always give my single ones a lot of love. These are a little bit more stiffer. They feel like lipsticks that are in pans. Comes with three blushes or I don't know if it's two blushes and a bronzer and a highlighter. I'll go ahead and swatch the highlighter too, I guess. Since we're about to move into the highlighter and bronzers. So let me see where I can swatch these. I wasn't planning on swatching all these. Look at that color. That's beautiful. The other blush. Ooh, so deep and beautiful. And then bronzer or blush, whatever you want to call it. And then the highlights. I guess we'll swatch it there. So the highlight I'm not that impressed with, but... These three colors are beautiful. So I think I'm going to keep this around for a little while longer. Um, it is already getting old. Maybe at the end of the year I will declutter this. It doesn't have an expression date or anything. But we'll keep this um, for now. I just need to remind myself to reach for it. I do try to ro rotate through them regularly. But I'm always reaching for the MAC, the Westman Sally A. 
um, the nude sticks, the glossy A. When I was trying to pan this, I was definitely reaching for that. Um, and this, I've reached for a handful of times. And the Merit was something I just used like nonstop for months. So I definitely need to give uh, M Cosmetics more love. Um, the Rare Beauty I did focus on because I was trying to hit pan on it. But yeah, these, um, the M Cosmetics um, stick one, the So Soft blush. And this definitely needs more love. But look at those beautiful tones. So I'm more inclined to reach for these type of peachy shades, even this type of peachy shade. And this one right here is gorgeous so that I had to buy the full size. And even though this one is kind of um, similar to that shade, this has a little bit more pink and doesn't look like this on my cheeks. This just stands out too much while I look clownish. So I'm going to keep <laughs> these other peachy ones and use those and go ahead and get rid of the Kosas. So we got one out of our cut. We have... We got one out of our collection and kept a whole bunch of other ones. I don't want to count them because my number will be inaccurate So I have because I have so many in my makeup bag from Project Pan and Shop My Stash. So just know that I got rid of one blush. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys just like bear with me. It's a realistic declutter, not a very savage declutter since I paid for everything. So I'm going to try to um, put everything back this container i don't know if it's gonna really make a difference um that i decluttered one <laughs> hopefully they fit a little bit better maybe with one less in there it's a little bit better and um just i will be mindful about my purchases and just try to use up what i have hopefully nothing goes bad on me hopefully if i realize i'm not using something i can just pass it on yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, you guys can't see me. Put these all in here. And this is what we're working with now. So a little bit more space, but it's still kind of tight in here. I guess we'll move into highlights since we did swatch this one highlighter. Um, so these are my cream highlights besides anything that I have in my shop my stash or project pan and um, There are some that are like on their last leg. So hopefully those that are in that bag um, We'll be able to move them out soon. So I'll just have a few So this one is the Westman Atelier one in the shade um, This is the lit up stick. So I'll swatch it right here This is a lit up stick in nectar, I believe. Yeah nectar. It's more of this peachy color I can pull it off in the, uh, like, I bought this, like, in the late summer, fall time. So, I had more of a tan. Right now, I'm not able to use it, I don't think. Um, I am using the other lipstick, like, the more iridescent one. I forget, I forget the name, so I'll just pop it on the screen. But this is a beautiful formula. I really enjoy the dewy, wet look this gives. So, I'm definitely going to keep this one. Next up, we have the... Say Beauty Highlighter, which is more like a gel serum type of formula. It's in the shade Star Glow. And I guess I'll give you a little swatchy swatch since I went ahead and swatched the other one. So it comes out like this and when you blend it out, it's just the most beautiful glow. It can um, break up my foundation underneath, um, but I just try to be careful and like layer it and stuff like that. So it doesn't play well with everything that I smell something. It smells a, not a little funky, but it's like a natural scent. Um, how many months does this have on it? I think it says 18 months. And I've had this maybe six months or so. This is just like the half size, I think, the mini size. So um in a year I will get rid of this if it hasn't if I haven't used it up, I'll just get rid of it because not that it smells bad, it just, it's giving me like a um, floral vibe, like a natural floral vibe, but I'm not jiving with it, so yeah. Great highlighter, great formula, just a little more finicky, and um, I think Say Beauty is a clean beauty brand, so I'm scared it might go off. Next up, we have the Nudies, um, Nudies Glow Bubbly Baby. This is the highlighter by Nude Sticks. It's a skin brightening balm with a soft metallic glow for a glassy skin dab on high points of the face for a dewy highlighted 
Dual ending blending brush twist off to wash. I'm just reading off the back. It has a 12 month shelf life and I bought this um, late summer or fall time, I believe. So here's what this shade looks like. And this is more of a golden -y tone. And this gives the most wet look. Like the swatch is not doing any justice. Just put this on. Just put this on your face in the summertime. You're going to look amazing. I remember when I first was like testing this out. I put it on my face. I went to Burger King. Uh, my daughter had to use the restroom. So when we went into the restroom, like, ba-bam. Um, that restroom lighting was bomb. And my highlighter was totally popping. So I'm <laughs> keeping this on. It's not something I can wear all year round. Um, I would be inclined to buy more from Nude Sticks. But, um... I mean, I already have a lot of highlighters. I would like to try some of the lighter shades, but um, I think I will just keep purchasing from Westman Atelier. I really like her lit up sticks and I wanna try her like, um, it's the one that are like in the compact. I think uh, one is called like Pesh Rose and the other one's called like Pesh something. I don't know, but those look very nice. So yeah, I definitely smell a lot of floral. <laughs> this right now with the same beauty i can smell just like i don't know like petals that have been sitting around the water it's just like a little overwhelming for me right now next up we have this one um by charlotte tilbury it's the hollywood is this hollywood yeah hollywood beauty light wand and this one is in the shade spotlight these sell out all the time since like everyone sees her using them in her videos and then all the influencers use them in their videos, make TikToks and Instagram reels and all that stuff and they just sell out. So yeah, I've had this for maybe going on, it's going to probably be two years. It has a 12 month shelf life on the back, but I haven't broken out or anything like that. And it is a beautiful highlight. I like when I don't know what cream highlight to wear, highlighter to wear, I choose for this one and it looks good in the summer, spring, winter, fall, everything. It's not like too goldeny too light like it's just the most perfect highlighter on me um here it is here it's just the most perfect highlighter i think the applicator you know they're always flawed with these type of um, products by charlotte tilbury but um i don't really mind the sponge applicator um i just have to be careful and clean it off i think i have the most trouble with the contour one but yeah i do want to pick up this but in the um pink gasm shade i think it is um but yeah i will pick up the blush one when it comes back in stock at sephora but this is a beautiful shade let's move on to um i guess the single potted one and then we'll do the quad by elf so here is the rms beauty this is the living luminizer this um not that it's similar to the uh say beauty one but it's more on the subtle side i will say that it kind of reminds me more of this elf one that we swatched earlier but yeah it's more on the subtle side like when i wear it over makeup it can disrupt it a little bit um it looks better on natural skin and i have a lot of product in there i don't think i'm ever gonna go through it i can just enjoy it while i have it and eventually it will expire this has a 12 month shelf life and i've had it for Mm, I don't know if it's been a year yet. Sometime in 2021 I got this. So I'll have to look back on my videos. But I would say maybe at least 9 months. I've had it for at least 9 months to a year. So I need to use this more before I get rid of it sometime next year. Um, next we have the e.l.f. This is the Shimmer Palette. This is the one I got for free when I placed an order. Um, and yeah, like I said, the blushes remind me... Of the tower 28 formula they last a long time on the cheeks give a lot of pigment and are just a nice formula in general i like the consistency of it and everything these highlighters are more on the melty oily side i swatched them out of order sorry um but yeah this is what these look like and i don't like the finish of them oh which finger did i swatch it on Hold on, I didn't swatch one. Let me re-swatch these because I don't know what the fuck I just did. <laughs> I 
Okay. So I have them here. Okay. So there they are there. They almost look like they just need a little something more. They're these four compared to all my other like liquidy highlighters, cream highlighters. This is just something I don't want in my collection. I'm not reaching for it. And when I do reach for it, I'm not in love with the final result. So I think I'm just going to clean this palette up a little bit and give it to one of my family members that wants to try it out. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Get rid of that one. So I do have a few in my makeup bag and then I'm left with these um, five. And I would like to um, hopefully even try and try some new ones in the near future. But um, this one's very, very low, as you guys can see. Like, I don't have much of this one left. And um, this one will end up expiring on us. Hopefully, I can use this one up. The Western Atelier and the Bubbly Baby have a lot of product in there. But I will keep them around for as long as I can. So that's what we're doing with our highlighters. Lastly, we have our bronzers. Okay, so I do have a few bronzer and contour sticks that are in my makeup bag for Project Pan and Shop My Stash. But for what we don't have in there, this is what was like in my drawers. I have the M Cosmetics. This is the So Soft um, bronzer in the shade Summer. And I'll try to give you a swatch. Um, my hands are full, so I'll try to swatch it over here. So this is Summer. Very creamy. Um, I'm in love with this shade. I wish I would have picked up more of a contour shade, but I'm going to keep that. That has a nice buttery consistency. The color's not too bad. It'll probably work for me best in summer, opposed to fall or winter, springtime. This one has a 12 month shelf life, and I believe I bought this in the fall time. So I still have a good nine, ten, nine, eight months with it, probably. Then, um, if it lasts up to two years, I'll keep it for about two years if I don't break out or anything like that. So I have a good amount of time to try to use that up. Next, we have the Bondi Bay one by um, Nude Sticks. So let me show you what this one looks like. It's more of a lighter tone. And um, this one I got with Ulta Point. It's a lighter orangey. It doesn't look orange on me, but like on the swatch, it looks a little bit warmer than this one. This one has more depth depth in it but yeah i love the formula of the nude six one very easy to wear it works best when i'm my fairest so uh, this is the next one that i want to project pan so i know i can use this up this doesn't have too much product i did get it with some ulta points but i think i paid a few cents for it so i want to get every penny's worth like literally out of this so this is probably gonna be the next one that i pan um so we'll keep that one Next up, we have this Persona one, which I haven't given enough love to. It's in the shade Dune. I find it was a little bit more sheer, like it blended away. I didn't like that. It kind of feels similar to the M Cosmetics one. And the shade's a little bit similar to the M Cosmetics one. This one I bought off the BoxyCharm group for about... Not BoxyCharm group, but the BoxyCharm um, website for $9. It does come with a good amount of um, product in it. So this is one of my newer bronzers. I want to keep this one. It has nine grams in it. That's a lot. It doesn't have a expiration date, but I will keep it one to two years. See where we get with that. Um, then we're down to these two bronzers, which I do have another Westman Atelier one in my bag. Um, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Contour one. And what else do we have in there? I don't know. We have a few in there. Those are the ones I could think of. Um, next, we have this uh, Westman Atelier one. Then we'll get into this little compact one. And then I ordered a bronzer, a cream bronzer. So that one should be coming. I ordered a cream contour and a cream bronzer. So those should be coming in here soon. I have the Face Trace Contour Stick in the shade Truffle. I also have it in the shade... Uh, what is the shade? I'll pop it on the screen here. But this is what the shade looks like. I have a whole video on it. So here's what this one... Um, it felt creamy when I was swatching it, but when I first bought it, it was like a little more tuggy and harder to blend out. So I don't know if it's going to be hard to blend out because I just swatched it on my hand. I didn't actually blend it out. That's with two um, swipes, by the way. Let me just show you guys one. 
Uh oh. Okay, you get what I'm saying. The tone's a little dark, um, but it, it blended out pretty nicely. Like, it was hard to blend out, but the color overall was nice. Like, a little bit more sheer is what I'm saying. It sheared out to be a nice color. Not not that it's, like, super sheer. Oh, oh my God. Well, we're talking. But, yeah, I... Mm, it's okay. I like it, but I kind of like the other one more, which is Biscuit. But Biscuit, um, I feel like I have to apply a lot of it. But I kind of had that problem with this. I'm just, like, uh, back and forth. Like, I like it, but there's something wrong with it. At the same time but it's something i want to keep around this was super expensive this one has an 18 month shelf life and i bought this uh in the fall time as well seems like i buy a lot of shit in the fall um yeah that one's decent decently nice um and then next we have the tart one in the shade seychelles which looks like this um let's swatch it and compare it to our other ones yeah, this one feels like a nice thinner texture. I remember looking kind of a little bit orange in it though. So, I don't know. Let's see. I think the most orange one we have is this one right here. But it doesn't, this one doesn't look orange on me, which is Bondi Bay. This one's a little bit deeper. More similar to the Dune by Persona. So yeah, this one seems to be the most neutral, which is the one by M Cosmetics, I believe. And this one's the deepest. But yeah, this one looked a little orange on me. So, last time. But I will keep it. It's a baby guy. Um, it has 12 months shelf life, if I didn't already say. Yeah, I think I could end up panning this um, if I try. So, I think once I finish up um, this one and another one that's on its last leg, I think I will focus on this one next. Because this one's about a year old. So I probably have one more year with this before it probably goes off. So that was the end of my declutter. I know it wasn't that great. We only got rid of two products. So I'm happy with these two products that we're getting rid of. Um, I know somebody else would be happy to use them. And I just curated my collection a little bit more. Talked about my panning goals and stuff like that. Just being real with you guys, um, I'm not going to lie, or sugarcoat things. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you tried any of these products, what you think of them. Or if you haven't and you're interested in trying them, let me know what you think. And um, I will post another declutter video soon. I've been um, posting these videos, sprinkling them in my... Um, what is it like filming schedule here and there but i think we are almost down to the end of this declutter series i know i need to do eyeshadow palettes which i'm dreading and face palettes which i'm kind of dreading um but i know i'll have a little bit of relief once i do that and i think i might do a third one which will be like just skimming through my collection one more time because i'm always trying new things getting new things and um, or sometimes I just realize I don't want something anymore. So I think we will skim through like, uh, concealers, primers, foundations. Um, what is it? Lip products maybe one last time. So that'll be like the final, final video. Or maybe I'll post it right after this. I'm not sure. So stay tuned for that. Oh, what was that? My voice. I hope you all have an amazing, blessed day or night, wherever you are. Please, I can't talk. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.